You may be seated. All right, 168 hours. 161 hours. Let's talk about the Fight Club. The Fight Club. This is a great book, people. Write this down till you get the book. You should write in your book. You should write I take write this down. The day you stop dreaming is the day you start dying. The day you stop dreaming. That's right. Is the day you start dying. So then your body just reacts to the inactivity in your mind. Amen. So the way to continue in life is to stay in the fight club. The fight club. Uh, I say, oh yeah, we had a three-rounder last week. No, no wrong club, wrong club. That's the ignorance club. Amen. Anybody you got to fight is not worth being with. Amen. Amen. I know that's why, you know, Angelique keeps praying for me. I keep showing up on Tuesday. <laughs> you be equally yoked together. Because I use Jeff. Jeff's in the fight of his life. He don't need somebody to fight against him. No. He needs somebody to fight with him. Yeah. Against these things, these powers. Because Beauty's daddy is a champion. Amen. The champion. But he has to believe it. Amen. He has to believe it. Every priest has to belong in the fight club. The fight club. When the, when the priest keep, quits fighting, the family falters. Amen. Even my single daughters, Chi Chi, some of them men, you know, will roll up on them and she'll be in prayer because if you're not a fighter, first of all, I'm going to get bored with you. I'm going to get bored. We're going to be unequally yoked. My dreams are going to get on your nerves. <laughs> uh, you're going to want me to quit talking about what I believe God for. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Amen. And I'm going to end up being lonely. I'm in the fight club. I'm going to show, man. I see, we, even, even this morning, we're going to read about this man. But you need to have three things that you sitting here today going, I fall for that. All right. I ain't talking about man. You know, you can, you can, you can repeat my test. Some of y'all like, I've heard that story before. Well, at least it's my story. Do I remember your story? See, this is my story. Ought to be at least, at least minimum, three things that you fought for. That if you hadn't fought for, it was going to defeat you. Okay? And some of the things that you fought for are still fighting you today. All right. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know, okay? Still fighting you. There are whole families that have lost key battles for the next generation. Key battles. Okay. Are y'all ready? Yeah. So don't stop dreaming. Stop dreaming, you're gonna start dying. Get Second Samuel. Man, this is good stuff. And then you're gonna write some things you defeated. Uh, because you do not just want to have the, <coughs> the old casual life where you watch other people live. Uh, so, <laughs> you get to drive by and see what, what God has blessed Nia and her husband with. This ain't Nia. <laughs> when Nia get married, <laughs> some of y'all like that ain't funny at all. <laughs> well, don't stop living. Amen. Amen. 
Second Samuel, so get ready to write three things. You have to feed it. Second uh, Samuel chapter 23. There's a lot of... Pick it up at verse... Let's talk about this guy. Verse 20. And then uh, there's some parts about... Uh, it's in the book, but I got some other resources. Of when this man ran into the queen of Sheba... Or Solomon sent the queen of Sheba. Uh, Solomon sent this man to the queen of Sheba. And the queen of Sheba thought that this man was Solomon. <laughs> so you know his presentation was right. Okay. Why was Solomon sending someone who didn't represent him? Okay. Um, so you're going to understand this man is more than just these three verses. It's the other verses in there, but these three. Look at verse 20. Read real slow. And Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzil. So there, uh, this is why I'm trying to get these priests to see. So now you see he was the son of a valiant man. What's your point? Your children watching you. Amen. My son Cammy is paying, he's at work this morning for Walmart. He's paying close attention. He will never forget this move that I'm making. Amen. That he had no idea I was going to make when he came here. Right. Amen. He's watching. He done told his other brother. One of them just said, wow. <laughs> huh? He's inspired. He's raking leaves. He's. Amen. Huh? No children watching you. Mm. What you don't want is for your children. You do not want your children's dreams collapse because of you. Right. Mm. To the point where if they decide to go beyond where you left off they can't even talk to you because it, at that age as you get older your stuff starts shrinking you know the activity dies down they don't want to hear mommy and daddy talk about uh, their lack of faith or right. Right. why didn't you tell me you're doing that because you'll kill it You asking questions. You let something come out of you. You asking questions that haters ask. What did that cost you? And you looking for a monetary amount. They say it cost me everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going to be tough this morning. Your children are watching. You don't quit in front of your kids. Amen. You don't collapse in front of your kids. Uh, I don't care how we, and my single mothers, they know who, they know it. Like, wait a minute. Kids understand going to work with a sore throat. They don't understand. You sacrifice it. They don't understand none of that. Amen. But you'll reap the benefits later. Huh? Amen. And. So that the fight club means that you have to make adjustments. Uh, and boxing is a brutal sport. But me and Marcus have watched boxing enough to see fighters make adjustments in the ring. Okay? They adjust to this man throwing that left hook to the body. They adjust. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard had to adjust to Thomas Hearn's jab. That's why his eyes still messed up today. Okay? Right. He had to adjust. It was an adjustment. So this man came from good stock. His father was valiant. And if you're a father, that's all you want your kids to say. Is it where you learn it? Learn it from my daddy. Right. Because uh, most of us, the bad habits we learn from our daddy, right? How to be irresponsible. How not to own up to stuff. How to be reckless. Amen. Money, women, whatever. 
Oh, somebody thank God for a new day in your life. Huh? A new day. Let's, let's, let's get rid of that and, and have your kids come and say, I learned how to dream big and pursue because of my father. No Wilson child will have an excuse. They watch the daddy. My, you worked in the business. Right. You watch the adjustments. You watch contracts come and go. But one thing that never left, never expired was daddy's dream. Always pressing, pushing, going forward. Huh? Okay. As opposed to I quit. He came from a valiant man. I hope your kids say the same thing, right? There's a comma. Read. Who had done many acts? I'm, I, just want, I want you to just write down three. Many acts. Something that you accomplished in your life. Something no one can take from you. Something that you fought for, believed God for, refused to let go, woke up thinking about it, went to bed thinking about it, held on to it. Huh? Are you hearing me? Many acts. And if, you've, if, you, if there are things you have accomplished, you didn't do it by being depressed all the time. Well, because depression unplugs you. Write that down. And then you try to plug it back up with pharmaceuticals or drugs or stupid TV shows or stupid friends. <laughs> Here's what he did, comma. He killed. Why is it always about killing? Some things, if you don't kill it, it's going to kill you. <laughs> uh, you have to kill lust on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. Uh, all right, now we got this Holy Ghost group now. <laughs> Our luck gonna kill you. Uh, see, Chi Chi, you found people just grab halos. I don't know where they at. I ain't found them in the parking lot. They just slap them on in. <laughs> now they're lust free. You might be sugar free, but you ain't lust free. <laughs> all right. You're gonna be lusting after this man after I tell you how fine he was. Y'all like, huh? Where the picture? I'm going to find me a, a Bible with some pictures in it. <laughs> some things you have to kill or it will kill you. You better kill fear. Huh? You better kill jealousy. You ain't got to be being jealous of nobody. That's right. Huh? <laughs> you have no business. Uh, it's a, there's 168 hours in a week. Okay, 168 hours. Huh. Someone has, first, has faced greater odds than you and they still came out victorious. Someone, amen, looked in a checking account, the service charge bounced a check, but they still got million dollar dreams. <laughs> amen. I said the service charge, which is coming, they're going to take it out tomorrow. <laughs> If you got four dollars in your account by tomorrow morning, you in the negative. <laughs> All right. Somebody else has the same thing. Okay. So he slew not one, but two lion-like men. He slew two men who were on the same. The exact same level that he was. Two of them. Okay. Write down two things that you faced off with. Without any help. That you took down. Don't be writing down the girl you whooped in the bathroom. <laughs> You are a seventh grader. She was in fourth grade. Oh. <laughs> you, you done pinned down a, 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 a fourth grader in seventh grade. Okay. <laughs> Two lion like men of Moab. Two equals. 
They had the same fight, the same fierceness. Mm. Something that challenged you. Something that made you cry, but you kept fighting. You got to learn how to fight while you're crying. Amen. Huh? It could have been a, 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 a course, chemistry, something you like, look, wait a minute, I'm going to get this. If I got to stay up all night, I'm going to get this. I'm going to try to understand this. Amen. Now you understand? And that's what causes people to walk differently. Their gait is differently because they faced off and they've conquered something. The others have given up and the way they walk proves it. Okay. I sent somebody back to the church on Saturday. I said, no, no, you go face off and talk to your God. Amen. You go talk to God. You believe God for his word. Who in here stand on the word? I believe God. I stood on a word. One word. One scripture. How many of y'all have had to take one scripture and repeat it over and over and over again? All earth as it is, you just repeated it until it became a part of you. Lion like. So one bank told you no. So the lady turns you down. You don't know what's happening in the heavenlies. Amen. On earth as it is in heaven. Uh, all Satan wants you to do is to quit looking at life and we'll let those birthdays catch up to you. Right? Write those two things down. You have victory. Victory. You got back up. Remember, count it a victory if it knocked you down, but you got back up. Right? Don't, be, don't count a victory if you don't know what happened. That means you were laid. <laughs> That means you got laid out. <laughs> okay? Count it. It could be victory over someone in your mind. Okay? Someone that was just your mind wouldn't let go of. Someone detrimental. You can play it either way. It could be someone that, that every time you saw my hatred rose up, you said, no, 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 no. I cannot live this way. Right. Amen. I refuse to walk around with hatred in my heart. Or it could be the wrong attachment because they did you wrong. Oh, somebody got a victory over loving the wrong person. Amen. And really the problem was you didn't love yourself. Huh? So they could do anything and say anything. And they, oh, somebody thank God. Amen. That's a victory that now when you see them, they know they look in your eyes and see they don't have the effect they used to have on you. Write that down. That's victory. Amen. Used to look you in the face and you had that I wish you would take me back. Look, and now, wow. They look you in the eyes and they start stuttering. They see fire. Not hatred. Joy. Tears of joy that you don't have the hold on my mind that you used to have. Tears of joy that I have no more expectation for you, which means you can't bother me no more. Oh, come on. Don't be trying to be cool in your world. Give God some. That's a victory that you have. The supervisor that no longer gets on your nerve. Now she's scared of you. <laughs> Because you go to everyone and say, good morning. Right. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> now she sees you, she takes three steps back. Okay. Now don't get fired, don't get fired, all right. Comma. He also, that's two, two, write the two things down. Amen. That's why, that's why you, uh, when it comes to jobs, a priest doesn't quit a job because somebody don't like him. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, now, look, don't turn around, but Shalonda start laughing when I said that. <laughs> why are you home? Because if, if, I don't, if, I don't, uh, if I don't leave, something about to pop up. I don't want to catch no case. You're about to catch a case in this house. <laughs> 
<laughs> we, we got bills. Uh, okay. Uh, he went down also. Read. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in time of snow. No, no, he didn't. He jumped in the pit <laughs> on a snowy day. You can't have no priest who don't want to fight because the weather ain't right. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Because the weather's not right. You imagine that, Michael Young? No, you can't. <laughs> now we're starred. No, you can't. <laughs> because if she's as fierce as she is in kickball, can you imagine? So he jumps down in the pit on a snowy day. Write this down, fighter. The conditions don't have to be right. You can only fight when there's perfect conditions. <laughs> Oh, wow. Talking about the fight club. The fight club. Adversity brings the champion out of you. You ever watch uh, uh, the quarterback for Green Bay? Tish Chaz. This dude, here's how he thinks. If I had a ball, we have a chance to win. We have seen this dude last minute running on the run, chased by a 300 pound man. Just, and this man just, we all thought Eli Manning was a punk until that one play. When he was pinned down, he shook him off. I bet he said, man, some bumps, some Peyton. I got it too. He shook it off and threw. Mm -hmm. That pass that changed his life. And Aaron Rodgers is unbelievable under pressure. Ask Marcus. They can always tell the quarterback that's going to the next level based on how he stays in the pocket and gets the job done even though he's about to get hit. Mm -hmm. So Tommy Armstrong better have plans after college. You know most of them, but no, he no, no, no. In the pocket, about to get hit, know you're gonna take one, all right? Say what you want, Tony Romo may lose his job to this kid because this kid's unbelievable. But that Tony Romo is rough. Okay, Keenan almost broke his back and back is still messed up. But Tony Romo will take a licking and get that job done. Even a receiver, we watched a play. I was watching it with Cammie. And it was a iffy ball, which meant either one of them could have got. And so... The man not being aggressive. So me and Cameron Thomas out. Like, if that had been Des Bryant on those iffy balls, he would have in the air. Oh, this is good stuff. In the air, he would have shielded the other man. So what happened, essence, was here comes the pack. It was an iffy ball. So the man, he went up, but the other man was gonna go up too. So the people on the next level, when they go up, they're cognizant of who's going up with him. And so he, if he would have just shielded. But this man waited for the ball to be perfectly placed in his hand. Well, you know what happened. That's <laughs> taken out. Okay. If you, if you look at, if you look at uh, old NFL films, Terry Bradshaw was not that great of a passer. But Terry Bradshaw had Lynn Swan and this dude named Star Wars. They could catch if it was just in the vicinity. They showed one time when Lynn Swan went up, he went up so high, he was sitting on the man's shoulders when he caught it. So many times Terry Bradshaw would overthrow them and it was a completion because of who went after the ball. You can't get mad because somebody went after something that was iffy and you sat there and it had to be 
perfectly placed in your hand. Well, someone else said, no, that's my, that's my dream. That's my life. That's my relationship with God. That's my. Oh, man. <laughs> so things to be perfectly placed in your hand. In NBA, uh, there's one dude, if you don't just place the ball in his hand, Lisa, he just fumbles it. In basketball, ask, and ask, ask anybody, it's hands. Who can catch? Who can catch bullet passes? Who can improvise? Am I making sense? Yeah. Write this down. Anything if it belongs to you. If you marry someone and everything has to be placed perfectly in their hands, you are going to be miserable because they're not in the fight club. He went down in the midst of a pit in the time of snow. It was freezing. It was cold. It was a lion. But no outside weather report. Nothing about the weather can stop me from having victory on this day. All right, it was a it was a victory that he had that day, and it was victory. Where was it at? In the pit. Amen. The best victories are when the enemy thinks you are down. Amen. It was in the pit. It was not a mountaintop victory. When you're in the pit, uh, there are people who are watching you, don't know whether or not you coming out or not, but you know you coming out, amen. Who in here know they coming out? Amen, it's a pit. It's the end of the year. It's the end of the month, but I got victory on my mind, amen. I am going to triumph in Christ Jesus. I am not going to let the month of October do me. Amen. I come in with praise and thanksgiving. Amen. I got one more day. 48 hours. I never thought Jesus. My October would be the way it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Fool around, all y'all be leaving at 11 o'clock looking at stuff at night. <laughs> Make sure you got gas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Right. If anything, I can train my young wife. He you want to look at something that let me, let's go. I mean, make sure you, you know, don't. Now, if you're looking rough, don't step out the car. Stay in. <laughs> Find out we're going to step out or not, all right? If you, <laughs> but get up and go. It could be a life changing trip. <laughs> all right? That's not all. So, already he's killed two men. He went out in the snow in the midst of a pit. You don't want your wife saying, oh, here we go. Here we go again. There he go again. <laughs> Three things that happened wrong. So there's another week. There's another month. He's going to be moping around. <laughs> so then if I tell you a story what the IRS said, I had to have $35,000. Some of y'all like, oh, I thought, well, <laughs> 35000 I came up with $35,000, huh? I took me some titles down to CarMax, bam, got that done. Had 30, I had to have 35000 in order for them to even make a deal with me. Oh, yeah. So you can't come to me with a $100 problem, but I, I'll be looking at you like, man. When did you quit speaking in tongues with that $100 problem? How did you stop speaking in tongues? You must have bit your tongue to stop speaking in tongue with a hundred dollar problem. Okay, thirty five thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 
in the pit. Write down a pit All right. victory that you've had. Some of y'all don't have any. That's when I used to reach for my weed. On my Newports. Try to find a roof to smoke them at. Give me a little menthol. That's when I went to reach for my child to see if she had some more glue left over from the science project. <laughs> child can't even be in the uh, science fair. Like, where the glue, mama? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, we talking about in the pit where you refuse to accept defeat. Amen. Verse 21. And he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man, and the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. Oh, so, so, so now the Egyptian is armed too. He's armed. No problem. Read. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, but he went down to him with a staff. I'm going to get him. Read. And plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. Anybody turn the tables on the enemy? Yeah. Uh, about four of y'all. Anybody turn the tables on the enemy? Right. Huh? Oh, uh huh. You thought you was going to get me, huh? You thought I was going to do what I used to do before I got filled with the Holy Ghost, huh? But I'm going to get you now. Anybody turn? Hmm. You thought I was going to have another emotional breakdown. You thought I was going to get mad at the world and stay home like all rookies do. No, I got up and said, God, I thank you. Amen. There must have been something about to metastasize. Hmm. Refuse to take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. Enemy messing with you. No, you went to another dealership. Mm -hmm. You went to another lender. You stopped and said on earth as it is in hell. What does a heaven say? Amen. Amen. Oh, somebody bought it. Maybe they're getting it ready for me. I couldn't afford to put that on there. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> because God is for you. Okay. You turn the tables because you believed God. You did not stagger at the promise of God through unbelief. You believed God and you reap the reward. So what was in Satan's hand, your doubt, your fear, your family's long history of mental collapse and excuse making, Oh, good God. I say long history. Mm -hmm. Not this time. Not this time. So somebody else, well, why didn't you come to me? You needed help. No, I had to hear about that forever. Not this time. It was me and God, amen. And God gave me the victory. So visualize it. I'm going to talk about who this man is. I'm done. So he goes down there. He takes his spear. Mm -hmm. And kills him with it. Right. Oh you better believe it is. Uh, and you want to be the kind of wife. Essence. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh oh. They're coming against you. Don't worry about it. You're going to go down there. And you're going to take their spirit. You're going to take that same book. The standard operating procedures. You're going to learn it. I'm going to help you memorize it. Amen. Ain't no way in the world you are going to let those individuals on that job defeat you. Because I've already seen, amen, in glory where you're going to run that company anyway. Amen. 
So you are not going to accept defeat. You are going to take it. You're going to believe the dream of God. Amen. I did not come in your life so that you would always take a back seat to anyone. I came in your life. I came in the name of the Lord. I believe God. We can't have one of us in the fight club. Right. And the other one with a seat, that's unequally yoked. Okay? Then I don't work that way. Watch this now. Get 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and verse 4. When I say fight club, don't show up on the job with a weapon. <laughs> Talking about my pastor see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do you like my, I don't know who, who. 2 <laughs> Corinthians chapter 10. We're going to have a fight club. All these priests. Look at these beautiful children coming in here. You're showing them discipline. Amen. Amen. What does 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 say? Casting down imaginations. Ooh, how many of y'all have to, mm. Boy, boy, take down some imagination. Your imagination will run everybody out of council bluffs. We talking about the bookstores. Huh? <laughs> Better you cast them down than somebody throw you down. <laughs> oh, man, this holy group don't want to hear about no imaginations. I think I'm going to preach to Shalana today. She's the one with the right spirit. She's just laughing. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm, mm, mm. Read casting down casting, imagination. Read. Casting down imaginations and every high thing Ooh. that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Uh, so, so sometimes you forget that you failed certain courses at Kellum. <laughs> But you have your life all figured out. So then the Lord got to remind you. Angel come and say, you ain't deep. <laughs> Remember that biology grade you got? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Remember how you messed the frog up and the formaldehyde? <laughs> People's eyes was burning. Remember how you rubbed your eyes? Uh, you ain't deep. You ain't deep. <laughs> how you got everything figured out? Huh? Uh -huh. Have you ever had a talk with yourself? Like, who are you? Because <laughs> y'all have it? Well, you need to. <laughs> Amen. You got to say, wait a minute. God is in control. He don't need my help. Because if Satan ever take you out on a wild goose chase where you think it's God, that recovery is real slow. Amen. Uh, that goes from the pool pit to the back door. That pastor told me, said that that church, God told him that was his church. He ain't there this morning. That's that's. Here's a little Bible for you. That's why you can't have a wife that's got your ladder of success helping you climb the ladder of success on the wrong wall. Okay. And she went over there and said, you know this is my husband's church. That's some dangerous dreaming. Okay. I only mention it because you, 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 you got to cast. First of all, why would you want something that don't belong to you? Your mind, that human mind, that's why you come to that human mind. Sometimes you come to church just so the word can wipe out what's on your mind. Amen. Come on, be honest, huh? Yeah, wipe that out. They ain't trying to trick me. Okay? So you, you cast it down. Or how, how about this? Every shortcut you have to cast down. Amen. Mm. Uh, the enemy will sit there 
show you a shortcut, make you think that's the only way this thing is going to happen. No, oh, come on now. And now you're full of anxiety and, and, and you're nervous and everything in your body is, is chaotic. Uh, somebody said, thank you for a word where you can calm down and trust God. Yeah. Worst thing in the world is to insert yourself where God never meant for you to be. We're talking about in your mind. Uh, here's scripture for you. So if we was on Facebook, I would say, pow! They still saying that. Please ask these three, verse one. Whew, man. To everything. <laughs> to everything. Read that, three and one. To everything. There is some things. To everything. To everything. There is a season. There is a season. And a time. I went, Chi-Chi, I went to Bishop Bismarck. I just blessed the man of God. Man, I man, yes, I can show you. I have different Bibles. Like I, it'll say 2005, 2007, yes. where I would be writing things down. Two, right. Just writing numbers down and, and looking at stuff. And, yes. Oh, just been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. Yes. So I go up to Bishop Bismarck and I said, Bishop Bismarck, why hasn't it happened? I blessed the man of God. He was real cool and calm. He said, it's not time right, yet. Right. Then I face all right, all this crazy stuff. Church went from packed to get now I got the wealthy remnant. 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 I can't do what I'm gonna do for you at a full house. You got unbelievers waiting to get waiting for you to get blessed. I gotta get down to some people, amen, who really amen believe God who are standing on a word. And yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yes, sir. Ooh, I'll mess with you. <laughs> Then, on the human level, Angelique, I'd walk around and say, God, did you forget? Yeah. Uh, that's in your Bible, too. Yeah, right. uh -huh. David says, Psalm 13, how long, Lord? You know you didn't ask God how long. Some of y'all did it this morning. Right. <laughs> Come on now, be like, be careful. Yeah. How long? <laughs> Amen. I don't know where y'all getting these halos from, but hey. <laughs> we ain't ran out. He said, it's not time yet. And walked away. And then I run to Simon one year and talking about all that. My what? Oh, that's the spirit of devourment. Say, so me and Chi Chi ran to that where everything we believe got for us start being attacked. There's nothing I said phased him. Because he was the one who prayed over the car. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> then he came in and, and uh, wow I had one member right there wrote down the prophecy mm -hmm. and this is in the midst of people who looked at me like I had something on me like even this last time tried to stop me from blessing the man of God and I let him off the hook I said my men would did the same thing. But in my mind, like, but my men already would know who is approaching. But I'm cool like that. I'm really cool like that after I see what God did. First of all, you couldn't stop me from giving that to him anyway. Amen. And he rebuked y'all. Then the man of God's wife rebuked y'all. Now let him, you know who I am. You want to stop it, but you can't stop it. Because it's unstoppable. Uh, come on now. Yeah. I've been blessing him longer than y'all been in church. <laughs> I had to go look at my files. Uh, since 2000, I've been giving this man $1,000. <laughs> you better get your $59.95 suit out the way. Hello. 
With matching vests. And shoes. That's, this is my bad attitude. I'm sorry. And shoes. <laughs> um, but I wasn't going to be stop dimples. You ever need that one dimple no more? Give me that. It'd be look good against my chocolate ski. Oh, I forget you to knock. <laughs> uh, no, no, for real. Don't try to stop me. Amen. <clears throat> what are you, one of the Delphonics? <laughs> Who are you, Gladys Knight the Pip? <laughs> Can't stop me. Oh. Amen. I have a history of blessing good ground. Amen. What do you learn out of this? Well, uh, after, after it didn't happen the first year, well, here's a trick about seed. Look how I could have messed myself up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if after it did, not only the car, here, here, here's a conversation, Oracle. Here's a conversation. Just blessed the man with a car. Had the little five, had the five dollar group at the convention. Had my more in their hat and they jailed in their hat in their pocket. So the man comes to me and says, he said, it's so sad. Bishop Wagner was back there and uh, he can't meet the budget. And I know you didn't give a car, but we all got together. The man of God shouldn't be strained. See, that's the problem. People saying, hey, amen, don't have no money. Man of God all strained him. Now he gotta he gotta speak and he gotta go pay the convention and all that. He said, but we I saw him back there and I asked him, Bishop, what we need. He said, well, we're behind, whatever. I just gave a car. So I gave some more. And some more. I got it written down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. One of these C's is gonna get it done. That's right. Y'all ain't uh, uh, I said, what 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 one of these? Huh? Then I found out they was all getting it done. God was adding them up. Amen. Every time I was so, he put a multiplier on it. He waited. Oh, wait and see what I'm about to do for you. Amen. He counted. Y'all ain't hear me. Every seed. Look what your seed got you. I thought it was from your mama. Look how you get to sleep. Not one year, oh, man. 16 plus years of sowing. Yes. Come on, Bishop. <laughs> and God was adding it all up. Amen. <laughs> and if you watch it, we're talking about this month. So when I took off the memory, talking about uh, 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 I am a millionaire, mm -hmm. I didn't know I was messing myself up. <laughs> Had to take that cap off of that. Right. Now there is no cap. Right. And when I took the cap off, pow! Right. Who listening here? Amen. Because it's time, amen. And it's not just for me. The amen oil runs from the head down. Amen. And some other people here, you only knew what was open up to you. Amen. The man of God prophesied on me. You live where you want to live. You drive what you want to drive, amen. And you can't sit here with no faith. You can't sit here with a lack of hundred dollar faith. You can't be squabbling over no thousand dollars. You got to give God some praise. Amen. My seed will change the course of my life. A seed will change the nature. You see it into what you want, a house, a car, husband. Here's my seat over and over again. I'm going to force God against the wall. I'm going to pin him with his own word. <laughs> and what the people couldn't do, he says, somebody in town to do. Yes. Yes. 
and she caught, don't even know him, she caught yes. just by having enthusiasm. Yes. Huh? Can I help y'all? God ain't finished. Look at her now. Look at when she first came here. Look at everything has changed. Look at her then. Look at her now. That's what God can do in a short period of time. And he ain't. You gonna fool around and let the essence and the Sierra Mist come in here and get a hold of God and take off. Because I believe God for right now. I'm not mad at God. God separated you. He separated you. Satan has to fight you. But the person he separated is losing their mind. Don't believe in Jesus no more. Go, amen. You ought to thank God. Your worst day is better than a best day. God, he has separated you. There is a blessing coming your way that you can't figure out. Oh, in the name of Jesus. You stood where other men failed. You kept going with other men and buckled. It's coming your way. It's coming your way, man. everything oh Lord have mercy look how the enemy coming against the Barnes family first your wife's help now this lie at the post office the whole family tripping with y'all they tripping amen for a reason amen they are tripping that is the fuel that's going to make those dreams come to pass amen oh lord have mercy i feel the holy ghost that's the fuel you can't afford for them to stop tripping I say we're going to get down to the wealthy remnant, not the well to do. Yes. To everything. Yes. Read, oh man, I, I thought I was done. Yes. To everything. Yes. <laughs> and once again, I done told you what God did for me. Don't tell nobody. I'm still looking. Right. 
I'm looking to feel it. <laughs> now I got room to feel it. I'm still looking. She no ask her. I look up my stuff on the computer I bought her for her birthday. <laughs> Because I can get a better picture than on my phone. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Stop looking. That's my story, though. Huh? Hallelujah. So this, it would go like this. He come in town. Be some kind of finance or whatever. Are you going to go do that again? You know you need. Watch this now. Here's, here's one. Ain't nothing he didn't say that came to pass. Well, we can throw that one out. Huh? We can throw that one out. I'm, I'm telling y'all what's real. See, some of y'all, man, y'all, y'all, you don't want to join the fight club. You want to watch other people fight. Nah, you got to join the fight club. Amen. 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 What you know, I kept seeing, kept seeing, kept. I mean, I got a teenager here. <laughs> to hear a teenager. She comes with five hundred dollars right door. Why? Right during school. Cause I learned from my parents. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I go. I mean, I got. I mean, I got. I said, just get at the hurt. Get at. Trust me, I just get two pieces. Here, take them. Well beyond her seed. That's just the beginning, though. That's just, 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 that's like finding lint in your pocket. I got people here that are amazing. Mm. There'll be a day. What's the family? A million a month. Say that. Just weather the storm. I can't take it back. That's why I showed you what I notice when I showed you what I showed you. I didn't know I did not know what was going on in your life. So I showed you where you were going, not where you were. Watch. Watch the contracts. Just watch. Open your mouth and speak it. Amen. Just watch. Amen. Just watch. Simona, the only reason I ran into my blessing, I was happy for yours. That they said you didn't get your, but that was the lure because I had to go by and go look at it. So how can God use that house? To lure me to go look at what I was when it wasn't that how it was what I was supposed to find, which I move in on Monday, amen. And God forget about you. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Ain't. to a millionaire last night and she said wow I gotta go see that that's what I was talking to last night I've seen a millionaire her husband is excuse me uh, yeah. if he is she is right, right. <laughs> right. Right. she said could I spend the night in one of the garages if there's heat in there, right. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage somebody. Yeah. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Right. I 
want everybody who been depressed this month, who thought about quitting, I want you to rebuke yourself right now. Amen. I want you to close your month out. I want you to close your month out. There yeah, you go. Get back to where you were. Amen. I saw that thing pulling on you. Get back to being first here. Get back to tied off. Get back to what you, what got you here. Everybody has those periods where it seems like it ain't working. Come on, man. Let this help them. They're young. It ain't working. Oh, what, what the devil gonna do? And so the devil gonna come and tell you, oh yeah, that ain't working. <laughs> no, it ain't working. Come on, Bishop. Yeah. Go ahead and praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always tell you it ain't gonna work. Yeah. I always tell you that God done forgot about you. Oh, you gotta rebuke that. I always say it. God ain't forgot about you. If God really was for you, he would let us and so on. Oh, you gotta rebuke that. Hey, Amen. It's a trick. It's a trick. It is a trick. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's a trick. It's a trick. Praise him, Tisha. Praise him. Praise him. I can come too far to be tricked. I am a woman of God. I am a business owner. My scars will sail. What about Black Ronnie? You didn't give him Black? No, no. God doing something. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all up in here. I'm still Black and my middle name's still Ronnie. You feel me? <laughs> Man. I know one thing. You can't put me in no spiritual pastoral box. Wait till my enemies find out. <laughs> Did they really think they forty dollars was gonna make a difference? <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> to everything. So read it. And we're, we're, Stop to everything, there's to a everything. There is a season. There is a season. And a time. Oh, wow, watch this now. Huh? Oh, so, so, if you would have quit in the spring, you'd have never ran into a uh, fall mm -hmm. or summer. I'm trying to help somebody. Somebody gonna get this real quick. So it's October 29th, right? Right. It's fall, right? right. What's the next season? Winter. All you got to do is keep living, right? Amen. You going to run it? You going to run right into it, huh? Amen. Are you going to run into it? Amen. I'm trying to help him, Mozilla. Amen. Your season going to come. Amen. It's going to come. All you got to do is stay in the sanctuary. It and some of you who are praising God right now, you will get a blessing out of season. Amen. Where God had already determined spring, but you're going to get it in the fire. Every head bow. Ooh, let me say something for that late group. <laughs>